Hello, I'm JW, and this is another video on this little nightlight thing. I'll uh, just take off the uh, front cover there. And I thought we'd just see how much power this thing does actually use, both with the LEDs on and off. And since most of the power is probably dissipated via those two resistors in there, I thought we could actually measure the temperature those get to and see if that's sort of anything in the realms of safety or otherwise. So uh, let's uh, see what we can find out. Right now what I've got here is a fairly straightforward setup. Uh, we've got the mains uh, over here on this uh, block here with the uh, lid open at the moment so it's disconnected. Uh, multimeter here just to uh, monitor the current that uh, flows through the device. And of course there's all the mains voltage. This is actually uh, say 240 or so. I've uh, got the uh, little nightlight here plugged into this extension block. And for the temperature I've just got this uh, little electronic uh, thermometer thing with the normal sort of thermocouple bead on the end. And uh, it just happens that the resistor on this particular one is really sort of poking up from the board at a funny angle. So I can just sort of stuff the thermocouple sensor directly under that, and that should give us a reasonably accurate reading of the temperature that's in there. So I'll we'll just slide that underneath there. So to start with, we're basically at no current, obviously, and uh, temperature around 23 uh, degrees Celsius there. That's actually gone up by one uh, since I was uh, just touching the end of the device. So switch on, then we should get the current here. And obviously we'll see the temperature should obviously increase as the resistors heat up. And obviously to start with, the lights will be off, as of course it's, uh, a lot of light is shining onto the sensor. Okay, well there we go. So we've got to come down 5.8 uh, milliamps, and the temperature's already climbing there to 33, and it's actually climbing very quickly, which is uh, not really very helpful. So that's where the light's off, of course, and uh, if we cover the sensor then we should be able to see the uh, current uh, when the lights are on. So oh, there we go, the lights are on now, so the, uh, the current now has actually dropped to uh, 5.7. And uh, yeah, so it actually uses more power in the off state than it does in the uh, on state. Well, it's not a very huge difference, 0.1 uh, milliamp, but uh, Nevertheless, that's still a very poor design. So as I said in the other video, it seems uh, stupid to have this sensor on at all. It uh, doesn't really make a great deal of difference uh, at all to the current consumption. So yes, yeah, so there we are, certainly repeatable at uh, 5.7 and uh, 5.8. And of course, while that's been happening, the uh, temperature here has already climbed to 74 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be uh, pretty hot, certainly hot enough to uh, cause a severe burn if you happen to actually touch those, as well as the issue of uh, 240 volts being, of course, on those devices inside. So we'll just wait and see what the temperature actually does actually get up to. And that's well into the uh, 80s here. Right, this has been on for about four minutes now, and the temperature seems to have uh, stabilised around 102 or 103 degrees Celsius there. Now, uh, by any standards, that is pretty hot. And if I put my hand here, I can actually feel the heat rising off of those two resistors, which uh, certainly isn't good. Bearing in mind that the uh, cover, of course, is not actually on here, so uh, in terms of cooling, this is actually better than it would be if the uh, cover was, of course, fitted there. And obviously, normally, this will be in a more of a uh, vertical position anyway, so of course, the heat will be rising uh, up from those and basically going across those uh, three LEDs, causing those to get hot as well. And it's still actually rising very slowly, about to 105 there. Maybe it's still going up, 106. Uh, current wise seems to be about stable at the uh, 5.9 there, or 5.8 or so. And again, if we cover it, it drops down to 5.7. So, yes, more current is used in the off condition than uh, when it's actually on. And I suppose that does make sense, because essentially we've got three uh, LEDs there, or three diode junctions in series. Whereas with the uh, transistor being in this condition, we've only got one, or effectively one uh, diode junction, obviously inside the transistor. So, of course, one is uh, going to have a lower voltage drop than three of them. So, uh, yeah, so about 5.7 uh, milliamps there, or uh, 5.9 in the off state. And so the temperature now well over 100 degrees Celsius, so 107 there, extremely hot. And uh, that's pretty obviously going to cause a certain amount of uh, melting or uh, discoloration of the plastic in the device. And of course, bearing in mind these things are specifically designed to be plugged in and left on permanently, so that it does its automatic thing uh, whenever it gets dark. Now, in terms of actual current consumption, the uh, device label states uh, maximum 1.5 watts, which uh, seems reasonable enough because. Uh, 
got a current here of sort of 5.8, uh, 5.9 milliamps. Voltage on this circuit is uh, just under 250 volts. Uh, this is obviously a bit on the high side, but still within the uh, accepted specifications and the mains voltages in the UK. And uh, 250 volts at sort of 5.8 milliamps uh, is about 1.45 watts. So uh, pretty near to that 1.5 watts stated on the label. But uh, bearing in mind, most of that 1.5 watts is simply being used as a heater to heat up the two resistors there. And uh, that's incredibly wasteful, particularly considering so this thing is going to be on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And although it's been on for some time now, the temperature seems to have stabilised at that 111 Celsius. And we're still getting that uh, little 0.1 milliamp uh, drop when the lights actually turn on. So say 5.8 or 5.7, depending on whether the uh, lights are on or not. So that's the uh, wasteful little night light. Uh, normally it would be used in this uh, position here, and uh, inside the two resistors are actually here in the sort of centre of the circuit board there, because all the heat from those is going to rise and cause those three LEDs above to heat up, and that's going to shorten their life considerably. Although for a 99 pence device, I uh, doubt anyone will actually be complaining. Uh, the major problem here, though, of course, is it's just a one and a half watt heater, throwing away energy for no reason whatsoever. I know that one and a half watts isn't a huge amount, and uh, even if left on permanently, it's only going to be sort of two pounds or three pounds a year in electricity costs. It's still two or three pounds of electricity which does not need to be used, and particularly considering there must be millions of these things out there in use. Uh, overall, it adds up to a fairly significant amount of wastage. Until next time, thanks for watching.